Let's talk about direct and inverse variation. Direct variation means as your x value increases, your y value also increases. An inverse or indirect variation means as x increases, your y decreases. And you have specific formulas for these. For a direct variation, your formula is y equals kx. For inverse or indirect variation, your formula is y equals k over x or xy equals k. And k is what is referred to as your constant of variation. Here's how you do these types of problems. And you know that they are a direct or an inverse variation problem because those words will be in the problem. So what you do first is you write down the formula, whether it's the direct variation or the inverse variation formula. You use your first set of x and y coordinates to solve for k. Then you use the k and your second set of variables to solve for the missing variable. And we'll do some problems so you can get the hang of this. Let's look at this problem that involves direct variation. If y varies directly as x and y equals 12 when x equals 3, what is the value of x when y equals 40? Now, because I see the words varies directly, I'm going to use my direct variation formula. So I write down y equals kx. Now, I plug in my first set of numbers. y equals 12 when x equals 3. So I divide both sides by 3 and I get 4 is equal to k. Now, I'm going to write my formula again, replace k with 4, and finish solving the problem. It then says, what is the value of x when y is equal to 40? So I replace y with 40, divide both sides by 4, and I have 10 equals x. And my answer is b. Let's look at a problem involving inverse or indirect variation. It reads, if y varies inversely as x and y equals 100 when x equals 5, what is y when x equals 50? Now, I'm going to use my inverse variation formula because the problem actually says those words varies inversely. So I have two options. I could do y equals k over x or xy equals k. I actually like using this one, so I'm going to use that one. So y equals 100 when x equals 5. So I have 5 times 100 equals k. That means 500 equals k. Now I rewrite my formula, xy equals k, replace k with 500, xy equals 500. Now they're asking me, what is y when x is equal to 50? So I have 50y equals 500, divide both sides by 50, and I get that y equals 10.